Hey everybody, it's Jorik. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for your continued support. I appreciate all of you that are continuing to follow me and watch the videos about Portugal or travel. If you're new and just found me, that's what I talk about. Portugal, Europe travel specifically, and I throw in a bunch of travel shorts that are not Portugal specific. They're just about our travels and hopefully get people motivated uh, to travel the world. This video is about those of you that are going to come to Portugal, whether you are coming for a vacation or you're going to be moving here and living here, every once in a while you're going to probably venture out and check out the, the country. And we have toll roads in many parts of the country. And you may pass through a toll and forget to pay. Uh, many of the tolls are set up where they don't have arms on them. So some do, some don't, uh, but there's also some fast track areas where you can, if you have a reader in your car, you're supposed to be able to go through and not have to stop and pay or do anything. You just slow down, go through the booth and go. But sometimes you forget about it. You're in the city and you're a little stressed about what exit to make, or you're just looking at the architecture and just getting a view of Porto, Lisbon, or you just don't know where you're at, you're not quite sure how the GPS is uh, you know, taking you or where you're going, or you're in the beautiful countryside. It happens, you forget about it. A couple of recommendations. If you are going to be moving to Portugal and you're gonna be a resident, you're gonna have a vehicle, it may be worth uh, making sure that you have a reader if you're gonna be using the vehicle uh, often to make sure that as you're driving through the tolls, you have this reader so you don't have to stop and pay, you just drive through the fast track area, if you will, where you don't have to stop. If you are on vacation or you live here and you just wanna get a vehicle for the weekend, you don't normally have one, I would recommend uh, making sure that with a rental car company, they do have uh, the reader. Uh, usually it's right on the windshield. Um, that's usually where I've seen it, uh, right by the rear view mirror. And that way, you don't have to stop and pay tolls each time you come to a toll station. You can just get in the lane that allows you to drive right through. But regardless of that, let's say you get a rental vehicle uh, or your own vehicle if you are here and you do not have that reader and you happen to go through a toll and you forget about it. Or you go through and after you go through, ah, I forgot to pay. It happens. So... If you go to this website, 48 hours after you've done this, I think you have to wait 48 hours, the website says, uh, before that information gets compiled and put into kind of a central system. You can go to this site, input your information, so the date that you went through the toll, the information like um, the license plate of the vehicle that you had, uh, your name, if you are a resident here, you put in your NIF, postal code, and whatnot, and then uh, it'll give you a fee to pay. If you are a tourist, it's a little tricky because you're not going to have an address. Maybe you remember your license plate. Maybe you've already turned in the car and you're at the airport, and then you think about it so that you may not have everything here. So I would highly recommend calling that customer service number if you've known that you've done this explain the situation to them and see if you can get some resolution and just um, that way you can at least give them the day you went through and maybe the location in Portugal and maybe there can be some fee uh, that they can uh, assess and then you take care of the situation. One of the difficulties of going through a toll and forgetting to pay is the amount of uh, fine if you are not going to pay it. Now, if you're not a resident, what I don't know here is if that follows you, meaning if you're back home in the UK or the US or Canada, are you going to get a ticket from Portugal uh, saying that you owe several months later? The website isn't clear on that, and I haven't really gotten any information. I've gone through some Reddit posts. I've tried to find information on this. So if you're a tourist and you happen to go through this and you forget to pay, 
I don't know necessarily what the repercussions are, um, but I wouldn't necessarily think that you just don't have to worry about it. I, I would try to contact that customer service number on this website and try to resolve it. If you are a resident here, um, they can charge you up to seven times the toll fee. So at a minimum, $25 uh, euros, excuse me, is the minimum, um, but it could be seven to, uh, 7.5 times whatever that toll amount is if um, you don't pay it and they have to come after you. Lastly, and I apologize because I, I feel like I'm talking in circles here, um, there are many people, and I've looked at uh, several Reddit columns as well as other social media posts where this website is a complete pain in the you know what, the backside uh, to deal with because it looks pretty simple. You put in your information, um, your date, your license plate, your, your traveler information, meaning um, you, your name, address, if you're resident, your NIF, it, it pops a, a number out and then you pay that. Well, here's the interesting thing. Um, uh, the debt amount only shows for motorways with Ascendi or Via Verde uh, toll booths. So therefore, if you pass a gate without an identifier on a motorway, without any of these, so if, if it's not one of these two places, you're not going to get a fee on the website. So that's extremely frustrating because then, even though they state that, they don't tell you necessarily what you're going to get. You will get something in the mail, allegedly, that will be uh, through CTT, which is the mail system here in Portugal, that'll be the fee. And it'll say, you went through an estate, here's how much the uh, toll is going to be for that missed um, payment, if you will. So that's it, it's um, a little clear as mud. But I wanted to get this out there because uh, I have a subscriber as well as someone who is a client that I've worked with on some consulting um, with their expat uh, move to Portugal. And they went through a toll booth and they didn't pay it, but they, they didn't know what to do. So this was just part of some research for them that I thought might be useful for all of you. So I hopefully it is. Hopefully you don't have to ever deal with this because quite honestly, it, it sounds like if you forget to pay or you go through it, um, whether you go through intentionally and you know you're not paying or if you go through unintentionally, it seems like um, this website is not necessarily your friend and it can become more problematic uh, than what it needs to be. If you've gone through a toll and haven't paid, if you have any experience with this at all, please leave a comment. I have zero experience with having this scenario come up. But if any of you that are watching this video have, please let me know because I'm really curious to see and leave a comment because I think it would be very helpful to the community to know what the process is and have you had a lot of uh, problems dealing with this website or has it been a breeze and what people have put on certain posts are just full of it. Anyway, thank you so much for checking out the video. As always, enjoy your travels.